we're going to talk now about a, uh, a different approach that we can use to fusing our models within um, RapidWorks. Uh, and so another approach gives you a little bit higher level of control than the one that we used uh, earlier. I'm going to turn off the reference planes for right now. Um, and I'm going to come over to Tools, Scan Tools, and I'm going to use my Mesh Buildup Wizard. Okay. And your Mesh Buildup Wizard works uh, similarly uh, to uh, the fusing process, but it has a couple options that are really good. So in the data preparation area, uh, it lists all of the families that comprise uh, the data that you're going to uh, build, use to build up your mesh. And we always use small, medium size object scanner. That's the toggle that we want to have under scanner type. And because we align the data within uh, Scan Studio, the data is in fact pre aligned. Okay, and that's step one of four, the data preparation stage. So from here, we want to go to our next step, which is uh, data editing. And mainly what we want to do here is to remove uh, any um, noisy clusters that we may have in our data. And the, although the value is 20, I like to put this up to like 50. Okay, uh, or max poly vertices faces count per noisy cluster let's make that 50 because that tends to get some of the larger ones and then you say find noisy cluster and you can see that it finds some noisy clusters within there and we can get rid of those those are sometimes areas within your model that can cause uh, problems and also if there are some uh, data that you didn't catch with the trim you can usually get it uh, with uh, your data editing portion and so we go to the next stage which is the uh, best fit aligning because um, our a model was pre-aligned it's usually pretty tight there's not much that we need to do here but I sometimes I like to select them all and and put these all in the moving family right there and still run a best fit on it because it'll pull it in a little tighter uh, based upon the alignment the parameters that have been defined in the uh, scan studio model okay and and so uh, that's been done uh, it's it's aligned uh, tighter and now we go to step four the final step which is the data measure uh, merging step and we can either go from loose or tight to, to define the accuracy at which it does that and we can check there and it's now merging the data and I'll pause that while that goes on Note that as you're looking at this model and you notice the different colors uh, that you see here on the model, and the color that you see relates to the, um, the, it's the degree of deviation or the amount that a scan layer may uh, deviate from, uh, from the original model. It's, it's, and it's also used to denote the scan. Now, this has been merged together and now what's happening it's actually going through and it's going to go in and fill in all of the holes within the within the model to give us our uh, our solid uh, manifold mesh and it's going through uh, the finishing process and that's where it normally uh, completes that that part of, of, of the work let me pause this. Okay, now this is completed. The uh, the uh, the build up wizard it's complete, and you'll note that um, this looks fairly similar to our um, to our other scan. Now there are a couple things that I like to do um, with this. Once I you got to make sure that you check here, check OK to input those changes. Um, from that tool and so that you're out of that mode. Now one of the things that you'll want to do with this mesh, you'll notice that it has this really long name here um, and you'll look at the mesh, you'll open up this feature tree right here and you see this name I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to 
go over here and change the name right here to model. Okay, so and I can close this info window. And so now that doesn't have no longer has that long name. And also let me open up my reference planes and you notice that this is um, not aligned properly, okay? And one of the things that I like to do with this stage once I fuse my model is to actually align it. So I'll come up here to Tools, Align, and I do a data match, okay? And what I want to do is that I want to come over here to the next stage right here, and this is a data match. So this is my front window. So I rotate this so that I align it properly to my front window like so and I can move it over so that that's in the center and I can move it over so that it aligns just the way that I want it to in my front window like so like that and like that and once I uh, have aligned that now this is properly aligned so that if I go up to my view window and I set the uh, viewpoint to the front, it, it's set there. And if I set the viewpoint to the right, it's aligned properly. Uh, my model is now aligned. Uh, let's go to view, set the viewpoint to the front. And let's take a look at our model. Um, and it has uh, half a million polygons in it. it. Has half a million polygons, so that's uh, it's a little bit more robust than the one that we did through a simple fusion. And this would be the point at which you would save save this model. And in the next tutorial, we're going to move into and begin to talk about uh, some basic uh, polishing and ways that we can clean up our model.